everybody, Carol here. I'm going again with the colors I used in my last pour, which is a commission. I'm trying a different technique, see how that comes out. See if I like it. Got some deco art satin enamel in with my white. See if I can get a nice pillow effect. Anyway, I've got this covered already with and off white, which is just white with some white satin enamel and also um, a teeny bit of burn umber, just a touch. So this is an eight by 10, so this is a five ounce cup. That's all I need, I'm gonna to try to do, it's gonna be a mini pour, straight pour, so I don't know how it's gonna work, but we'll give it a shot. So, I'll tell you my colors as I go along. Just I'm putting just a drop of this white in the bottom. Then I've got Naples yellow. I've got this peachy orange, which was a mix of many colors, which I will list. Then there's this that's like a wine color, also multiple colors mixed together. A little more of this white. Now for this beautiful blue, which is Extreme Sheen Aquamarine, which I'm hoping will also have a nice reaction to things. Let's see. If I do this, I'm going to get a little green. That's okay, because there's actually green in the color swatch that my customer showed me. But I knew the blue and yellow would make green themselves, so I didn't want to add. All right, here we go. Uh, let me take this off first. Now it's stuck. I want to just put a tiny little pillow of paint for it to float on. We shall see. Here we go. I mix my paints pretty thick, one to one with my medium. Could almost stand the stick up in it. Oh boy, I hope this blue doesn't take over. Kinda is, isn't it? Well, let's see what happens. It gets further down. Okay, 
started going off the side there and I lost my centering. Uh, interesting, interesting. Let's, let's torch it first. This might be a lesson in blue, how much blue I'm using here. Popping lots of bubbles, some cells coming up. Okay, let's give it a shot. Blue's definitely crazy, taking over. Way too much. Let's get some of that off. Got a, nice, a lot of nice uh, stripies here, but I don't know. Sorry if you can't see it. I'm just making it come back down toward the center. See what I'm doing here? I'm just bringing it down to that end. More. All right, let's torch it. Get a little bit of reaction here. Let's see how this grows. give it a minute okay so I stopped the camera I'm really not happy with this I added more satin enamel to my white I'm going to change up how much blue I use and where I layer things I'm not going to put white next to my wine because I didn't like the pinkishness that came out so let's mix up everything again. 
I'm going to start with a little tiny bit of white at the bottom again. All right. Put a pillow in the middle here again. There's enough on here that I should be able to pour. Here we go. Well, getting the fingerlings here, these little wing-like things, which is what I was hoping for. We're starting to go over again over here, but it's all right. Let's give it a quick torch. I can't believe how that blue spreads out. But it is pretty. Now let's see what we can do here. Let's see if we can fix this. And get a better result. Back this way. Trying to be careful. I don't want to lose my little design there because it's pretty cool. Alright, this is looking pretty cool now. It's different. Get that blue just to the corner there. Just slightly. There we go. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Got to get off this one corner here. Bring 
down this way. And all I want to do now is get that corner to just go over a little bit. Okay, bring it back. Now I can touch that up. Pretty rainbow colors coming through. I love some of the detail here that's going on in these fingerlings. I want this yellow and red to come down here more. Let me torch it. I think I like this better. I got a little more puffiness here, not a lot. I did get some. Along with some cells. Okay. I'll take it down. Let's take a look. Okay. There's the top corner. We got as you can see, some blue and the white. Pretty cool cells. And there we've got more of the cloudy effect I was hoping for from the satin enamel mixed into the white. Then we've got some real sharp outlined stripies here which are pretty cool and we did end up with a sagey green if you can see that at the edge of each one of these little things here oh, 
There's blue peeking through in there, which is cool too. some blue working through the wine and the orange and uh, again pretty cloudy white with colors showing through I like the 3d effect that you get for sure Look at all that cool with the blue in, in the ends. Okay. So that's it. If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. I'd appreciate that. Click the bell for future notifications. Check the description below and it'll give you all the information you need uh, about the paints and the medium and everything else. And other than that, I guess that's it. And I will see you next time. Thanks and have a great day.